uh, was a huge part of our offense this year. Uh, we, uh, I think we had the top rushing attack in the area. Uh, me being a new coach, I had to lean on some of these guys last March and last April. Dylan was one of those guys. Uh, he played tackle. Uh, last year, we moved him to guard. Uh, Dylan is going to go to Maryland. Uh, great, great program. Uh, things are exciting in Maryland right now. They just got a top recruit he commit from Ohio State. He's going to Maryland. Uh, Dylan's going to be a big part of it. I told Coach Edsel as soon as wrestling was over, Dylan and I are going to lift Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. Right, Dylan? Yes, that's <laughs> right. But he has unlimited potential. Uh, we're real excited. And I have a feeling that uh, when we turn the TV on and watch those Big Ten games, Dylan's going to be a big part of what they're doing over there in Maryland. And it actually worked out well because I think their family might be kind of moving in that direction. So it worked out well. I'm a Maryland guy. I grew up about a mile from campus. So we're real excited for Dylan. All right.
Coach Lou is going to talk about it a little bit too, okay? This is a very happy day for me. Um, I got the privilege of co uh, teaching Tucker as an eighth grader. And being a lacrosse coach back then, I, I was chomping a bit to get him on the lacrosse field. Unfortunately, I didn't get him his freshman year, but how happy I was to get him back his sophomore year. Tucker is a three-year starter for me. Um, last year, uh, he really blossomed, came into his own. He was first team all district, first team all region. Uh, and in the game of lacrosse, this doesn't happen too often, but he was Washington Post all men honorable mention. And for a public school kid to get any all men, Honorable mention, regardless, is quite an honor. Uh, I'm very proud of Tucker uh, for all of his accomplishments and overcoming all the obstacles that he has had to. Uh, I look forward to him leading us again. He is my one captain pick. Every year I make one captain pick. He will lead us on the lacrosse, on the lacrosse field this year. Uh, I look forward to great things from him, uh, speedy recovery, and uh, I can't wait to go down to High Point. Uh, I have friends down there and we'll watch him play. In case you don't know, High Point opened up their inaugural season this past Saturday against Delaware, and typically uh, upstart programs struggle. Delaware, Delaware struggled to uh, gain a victory against High Point, so he's walking into a tremendous pro uh, program with a tremendous coaching staff with great facilities and uh, outstanding academics, so I wish Tucker nothing but the best. Our kicker, our punter, uh, 
Uh, he, was, he wasn't our player until the last game, and what a job he did. And when the unfortunate circumstance happened to Tucker, he had to punt five times, which in a, in a tight game did a really, really, really nice job. Uh, probably the best kickoff guy, field goal guy I've ever had. And I've had two go to college. And one played at Yale and started for four years. Uh, there's a pretty good chance, uh, Frank Beamer was in last week, there's a pretty good chance that when Tech plays Alabama in the Georgia Dome uh, in the Chick-fil-A Bowl, that this guy will be kicking off. Uh, and that's the first football game of the next football season. Uh, he's got to earn the spot, and that's up to him. But what an opportunity to go to Virginia Tech and play in that, that stadium and play for that coach, who's one of my favorite guys of all time. And he was real excited to get our team. And, and he knows talent. So for him to take RJ, RJ must be pretty talented. Uh, RJ even cut his hair. <laughs> Should have a nice career, but that'll be exciting when we can watch him on TV. Uh, again, he's got to compete for the job, but I don't, I don't foresee him not doing the job. RJ will work. Yeah.